Hello, good morning Year 6 and welcome to today's math session where we're going to continue looking at conversion problems. So we're going to be looking at converting from millilitres to litres today and vice versa um, and we're going to be solving problems involving those conversions. So there is no Kahoot challenge today, okay, it's quite a bit of work to be doing and as well if you do finish early there are plenty of additional tasks on study ladder to have a go up. So if you do finish early, okay, or you want to warm your brain up a slightly different way, go to study ladder first and complete some of the challenges from this week. Okay then. So, first of all, let's look at these conversion problems. Now, these are things that you should definitely be remembering. If you can remember them, it will make it much, much easier. So how many grams are in a kilogram? We did that yesterday. Can you remember how many grams are in a kilogram? Indeed, there are 1,000 grams in a kilogram. How many centimeters in a meter? 100. And millimetres in one centimetre? Can you remember millimetres in a centimetre? There are 10 millimetres in one centimetre. Now, we're on to kilometres here. Can you remember how many kilometres are in one mile? Have a think. How many kilometres in a mile? The easiest way to remember this is it's 1.6. Okay? So it's 1.6 kilometres for every mile. You will need that for the first part of your task today, so make sure that you remember that one. And what about millilitres in a centilitre? Millilitres in a centilitre. There are 10 millilitres in one centilitre. Now these two here are sort of the um, uncommon ones, but it is very, very handy to make sure that you know them, okay? Make sure that you can remember these ones here. Okay, so we've got our standard ones here, and then we've got these ones that require a bit more thinking. Okay, so make sure you can remember these. Write them down if you need to write them down. Now then, looking at our first problem for today. A cola bottle holds 2.5 litres, and glasses hold 75 millilitres. How many full glasses could be poured from the bottle? Now first, you're going to have to convert the litres measurement into millilitres. Because remember, I want these two units of measurement to be the same. Okay, so 2.5 litres, 2.5 litres is how many millilitres? Well, as we were doing yesterday, I'm going to be timesing that by a thousand. So 2.5 litres is equal to 2,500 millilitres. Okay, so I've now got the same units of measurement. What is my next step? Have a little think. What do I need to do next? Of course, I am now going to have to find out how many okay, glasses of 75 millilitres I can get from my 2,500 millilitre bottle of cola. So to do that one, I'm going to be dividing, because I'm sharing that 2,500 between 75 millilitre cups. And that will tell me how many cups that I can get. So it's 75 on that side, and I'm seeing how many times that goes into 2,500. Again, if you need this, write out your 75 times table if you need to, or use another method for division that you find suitable. Okay, so I will just quickly write this down the side here. Um, and as you can see, okay, I have completed this down this side here, and there we go. Okay, so. Instantly, how many times is 75 going to 2? It doesn't. How many times is it going to 25? Again, it doesn't. So I've now got 250. Well, the closest there is here. That would be about where 250 is. So it's 1, 2, and 3. And then 225, 250, what is my remainder there? It is 25. Okay then. Do that again. Three. Okay, with a remainder again of 25. So I'm going to put a remainder here. I don't need to go into decimal place because it's asking me what is the number of full glasses that I would get from this. So the number of full glasses I would get would be 33 full glasses. That remainder here doesn't matter anymore because it doesn't create a full glass. Okay, so to work that one out, I would do 2,500 divided by the 75, that will give me 33, so therefore I get 33 full glasses of cola. So let's look at the next problem. 
A lemonade bottle holds 2.5 litres. These glasses hold 95 millilitres. How many full glasses could be poured from this bottle of lemonade? So again, the first step here is to make these units of measurement the same. So 2.5 litres, what is that in millilitres? Well, again, it's 2,500, okay then. So that's my first step, make the units of measurement the same. Second step is to now to start to work out how many full glasses I could get. So I'm gonna be doing a similar thing here, okay? This time I'm gonna be doing 2,500 divided by the 95 milliliter cups, and what would that give me? Again, if you need the help, write down that times table on this side here. And like magic, there is my 95 times table. Okay then, so now I'm gonna be doing 95, and how many times does that go to two? It doesn't, so I carry my two. It's 25, it doesn't, so I carry the 25. 250, that is here, so that is 2, 190 to 250, that's a remainder of 60, okay, so 600 now divided by 95, uh, that's here, so that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6, uh, with a remainder uh, from um, 600 to 600, uh, 570 to 600 is a remainder of 30, does that really matter? No, it does not. It does not help me because I'm trying to find out how many full glasses there. So, full glasses, from here I can get 26 full glasses. Okay, 26 full glasses. Now remember, first of all, I have converted into the same unit of measurement. I've converted into millilitres, so it's here. Okay, then I've done my division to find out how many glasses I could get. Now, of course, I have used a bus stop method, but if you would prefer to use a different division method, that is absolutely fine. The remainder does not matter today, or not in these questions anyway, because I'm asking for full glasses. So whatever's left over is just left over. Okay, then, let's have a look at a slightly different question here. So a milk carton holds 3.5 litres. Now, Parveen fills 25 glasses with milk and she puts 75 millilitres in each glass. How much milk is left in the carton? Write your answer in litres using decimal notation, so using decimals at the end. So what I'm actually trying to find out here, okay, is not how many glasses I can have, but how much milk is left in the carton at the end. So let's look at the important information here. The milk carton was 3.5 litres, that's quite important, okay? So I've got three and a half litres of milk, and I know that she's filled 25 glasses with milk and there are 75 millilitres in each glass. How much milk is left? So step number one is actually gonna be here now. And that's filling the 25 glasses with 75 millilitres of milk. So what I'm gonna be doing first is 25 glasses times by the 75 millilitres of milk. Okay, so I will do that first to find out how many millilitres of milk she has used. So 25 times 75, so five times five is 25. Five times two is 10, add the two is 12. On to the next step, do not forget that place value holder, because I'm timesing not just by seven now, but I'm timesing by 70, so it's zero. And then seven times five is 35. Seven times two is 14, plus my three is 17. And there we go, I can now add them together. That is 5, 7, 8, and 1. So she has used 1,875 millilitres. But I'm not finished yet. That's just how much milk she's used. I now need to work out how much milk is left in the carton. So step number 2. The milk carton holds 3.5 litres. Again, I've got millilitres here and I've got litres there. So let's get into the same amount. Now, I could change this to litres. Okay, but it'll leave me with a decimal place with three numbers. This will be easier to convert into millilitres. So 3.5 litres into millilitres is 3,500 millilitres. And I can now go on to step three, which is to work out how much milk is left in the carton. Well, therefore, if there's 3,500 to start with, and she has used, so she has taken away 1,875 millilitres, I could then get the total what is left. Well, I can't do zero minus five without giving me a negative number. So I will borrow from here. Still can't be done, so I'll need to borrow again. 10 minus five is five, nine minus seven is two. 
four tens minus eight tens, uh, hundred, sorry, four hundreds minus eight hundreds. Again, can't be done, so I'm going to borrow from here. Okay, so fourteen hundreds minus eight hundreds, so fourteen minus eight is going to leave me with six. Two minus one is one. So there we go, one thousand six hundred and twenty-five milliliters. Have I finished there? No, because it tells me step number four on this one is to write my answer in liters. So step number four, I had to change 1,625 milliliters into liters. Well, that's divide by a thousand will give me 1.6. Apologies for that one there. That'll give me 1.625 liters. Okay. So how much milk is left in the carton? 1.625. Okay, and there we go. So it is now time to have a go at your own work. Now your work is covering some of these areas today, so read the question carefully. And remember, if you need to ever come back and watch this video again, come back and watch the video again. So squares, triangles, and circles, you've all got your sheets that have been sent to your parents. Now the first sheet is about converting, and the second part of your task, which is then um, for each group, have got your own questions. All work needs to be sent to me again today, please. Okay, it needs to be sent before 3 p.m. So make sure you're getting it done. Make sure you take a photograph and then send it across as soon as you're finished. As always, if you need any help, I am here all day. So send me a message and I will get back to you as quickly as possible. Thank you, Yusuf.